Hello, I am the many talented Mr. Jefferson, and today I'm here to talk about a new idol game. Rusty's Retirement. Not that long ago, I noticed some friends of mine started playing Cookie Clicker, and it was a game I had never tried, since I never quite understood the whole idol game thing. But once I started playing, I realized that there was a somewhat complex math game behind this whole don't do anything facade. If the game basically played itself, then there would be no way I could surpass the players who started before me. But that's exactly what happened. Because I'm so used to min-maxing in MMOs and ARPGs that I'm pretty familiar with how modifiers will impact the base number. The new amazing poker game, Bellatro, runs on the same basic underlying concept. Mm -hmm. 
come up with ways to stack the deck to beat the game through pure math. More than actual poker skill. I paused for a second to play with the cog on Rusty's house. When you start the game, there isn't much more than this green roofed house with a cog on it. Spinning the cog will earn you spare parts. Spare parts are like money. and allow you to purchase seeds for crops and create farm plots, but it's just the most basic currency. You are a robot. 
Robots run on fuel, and the whole reason you have a farm is to feed yourself. Now, robots don't eat vegetables, not directly at least. They have to convert the plants into biofuel. Which they can eat. Sorry, I seem to have gotten up to get a drink. I... I'll be back any second now. What a strange game review I'm writing. Anyway, there is this other form of currency called biofuel. It runs your robots and can be sold for spare parts, so it's kind of like super money. I have some right here, and I'll convert it to spare parts right now. As you see, you can convert it in higher 
amounts. At first, you won't have much to work with, but as you see, I have nearly 2,000, and I have spent a lot of that biofuel on other things like robots and upgrades. One of the more sorry, had the plant. One of the more interesting mechanics in the game is scaling costs. The more of a thing you buy, usually, the more it costs to get another one. That's why the prices for farm plots and robots on my screen is probably a lot higher than what you see when you're first starting out. I just finished buying all of the houses and the other robots open up. Sorry, had the plant. I have a dude that's supposed to do that, but I just got him, so I'm learning how fast he moves. and the other robots open up new tabs.
For example, I just upgraded most of the robots on my farm because I got Echo's Workshop. It's right over here. You could also see the scaling cost. The more I upgrade the robots, the more the next of the same upgrade is going to cost. Anyway, the big dude at the top of the screen, this one, he's upgrading my machines to move faster. They will also increase in carrying capacity. which doubles as a stacker mechanic because you can see sometimes I get multiple items put into the biofuel converters in a stack. That's because of carrying capacity increases, which means I get a lot more biofuel per trip. I can increase the speed too, but that's not the most efficient way to improve, so I save it until the other upgrade is tapped out. Of course, increasing efficiency in one way will decrease it in others. If I'm putting stacks of vegetables on the biofuel converter, then I need more crops growing or the process will stall out.
This is a game of balance and optimization. So you might notice I'm short on space. It's not a big problem, it's one that can be solved with money at least. I just converted most of my biofuel to spare parts, which I can use to buy the lot next to mine, and... Hold on. There we go. Now Rusty will come over and start cleaning up the lot so it can be used. There he is, look at him go. I will get spare parts from cleaning the junk up, but it's not going to cover the cost of the land at all. As you can see, there is a lot of land to buy, and it's going to start getting really expensive. I can buy decorational items too. Those signs on the farm tell Splunk what to plant.
Getting Haiku allows you to set priorities for Rusty and Haiku. I don't like them making biofuel like they insist on doing because they don't stack like the upgraded biofuel bots do. So when they do it, I will usually get less fuel per operation. This guy is a treasure hunter. I think he makes me money with artifacts, but I don't know for sure. This one robot gives me statistical data on my farm. You might be wondering why I'm planting a bunch of different crops, and that's because they have different yields, grow times, watering needs, and produce different amounts of biofuel and spare parts.
So you could just see, wheat takes two water, it can be harvested once, grants no biofuel, but does generate three spare parts. You need three different crops to create biofuel, so even though wheat yields no fuel, you can still use it to convert radishes and cabbages, which will produce biofuel. You need to grow crops to unlock new crops, like this green square here. I just unlocked a new crop there. So I got red cabbage and I can grow that and unlock something else. I need to grow turnips to unlock a previous entry, which I will need to unlock another seed. It's a vicious cycle. I haven't messed around with the animals yet, but that's because they need a feeder and that's expensive. So I will probably buy this lot here and start with the animals, which produce fertilizer, which will make the plants grow faster.
Rusty's Retirement is a game of increasing complexity, and it's a very addicting management idle game. It's a strange game because it's happy to sit there out of the way. Actually, let me... Ah, there we go. I wanted more real estate on my screen, so I hit the down arrow to minimize it, and the up arrow will make the monster grow. It can get this big if you want, but... I'm happy in standard one-third screen.
I am the many talented Mr. Jefferson, and I want to thank my viewers, my subscribers, my channel members, and all of you who hit the thumbs up button. An extra special thanks to all of you who went above and beyond in sponsoring my channel recently. I'm off to go play something more hands on, like Dead Island 2 or pinball because I just finished reviewing four tables and since I have three other table reviews that leaves only 118 tables left to review unless they come out with five more tables this week in which case I went from having 125 tables to review to having 130 and still have more tables left to review than when I started Excuse me while I plan. Oh, right, I needed these. Cool. I'll see you in the next live stream or in the next video game or pinball table review. Until then. Toodles. Supplemental. I figured out what fossils are for. You need them to create animals. I guess they were all extinct? Anyway, animals make poop, which turns into fertilizer to give a growth speed bonus. My beehives are ready. Not sure what that was. Anyway, I left the game running and took a nap, so now I have a new farm unlocked. You just saw what my current one looks like. I don't know what's going to happen when I do this, so...
Weird. I'm trying to start a new farm. Let's do this again. Okay, it's working again. Hey, this is different. I like the other way better, though. Much better. This is what the game looks like when you start it. Obviously, I didn't have the rivers, but you get the drift. I'm going to click now. Or maybe not. There might be an achievement for not clicking the gear. Anyways, I'm going to let these plants grow so I can buy more robots and then do it all over again when I unlock a new map. This is an idle game, but hold on, it's not really that idle.
you do need to interact with it until you get it fully automated like I did before. It looks like the new challenge is a purely logistical one since I now have to work around these rivers, but they might count as a water source, eliminating the need for more wells. Hey, I got new crops. This game is so addicting. Anyway, here's the real end of the script. It's Cinco de Mayo, and I have a margarita that needs to be... Drink. Drunk? Drink? Drunk. Fuck it. I need to finish it off and fill it again because I skipped streams today to do that. See you next time. Double toodles.